Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you've enjoyed today's video, maybe come back tomorrow, you know? That could be fun. We've got some people that have been around for almost five years. Maybe longer at this point, if they came from the old YouTube channel onto our daily. Uh, started off my Friday. Good way to kick off the weekend uh, with an Orange City class. With one of my favorite coaches. I like all the coaches at my studio. Uh, but this coach is the coach I met first. And he's just like always, I feel like he's always pumping everybody up during the whole class. So that is, uh, that's good. Um, walking home. Once It's like last night. So even though it, Orange Studio, Orange Theory is a cooler place, it's more of like a interval like workout. So walking home in the shorts again. <laughs> Good morning. Jamesy slept so good last night. He just woke up, it's like 7.30. Um, he only woke up once earlier this morning. It was when we were already up. So that's great. Good rest. Um, I woke up, I read, I did my yoga, I showered. I even edited most of the vlog, so feels like a good Friday. I have been having like ambient winter Harry Potter, but then also just like whatever music on. Um, but now what do you want to watch? I'm just relaxing, eating, having a good time. Comment below if you know what that's from. Mary Poppins is up on our docket today. Jamesy's transitioning from bottles to sippy cups. And we're mixing formula with different types of plant milk. Today we tried oat milk. Yes. Yes, and I think you liked it. Are you guys interested in like these like changes in his milestones and development. Like, I feel like I just, yeah? I feel like I just insert random information in the vlogs, but like, would you want like a vlog dedicated to his milestones as he hits them? Or maybe different ages as he hits them? I feel like, like as a society, we need to focus on that like, people develop at different times and and I truly believe that comparison is a thief of joy. So do you mind that I just like throw these little tidbits of info in there? Like, I mean, I guess there's, there's plenty of other development videos out there that are like dedicated videos, but what do you prefer? Jamesy and I are venturing out to go to the P.O. Box downtown. I didn't want to risk there not being a parking spot. Last time kind of showed that that there was a lot of parking spots on Sunday, but I'm just not so sure during the week. The sun was shining, so we decided to get out. We haven't in a couple of days. He's already asleep, and I'm almost to the train. You guys, this feels like the old days going to the P.O. Box. And I'm gonna open it right here. Um, this is so cool. 
this is? When is this from? That is really cool. I don't see a note. But it looks like it's from Roberta. Thank you so much. This is so cool. I've never seen one of those before. Oh my gosh. I just peeked at what's inside here. Oh my gosh, they're giving us their special ornament. This is from the Goodwin family. Yes. I'm speechless. <sighs> this is special. Thank you so much. I sent Peter a picture of that um, It's a Wonderful Life ornament, and I was just thinking that I was gonna text him next. We're keeping this out all year round, and he literally just texted me, that's gonna be kept out all year round. <laughs> This is from Laura. Oh my gosh. It's Teddy's first teddy. A Vermont teddy bear. I'm gonna have to look into what this is. Oh my gosh. Guys, thank you. My heart is like two sizes bigger. I mean, I'm not a Grinch, but like, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is one of the scariest parts of Chicago in the winter. Like, terrifying. Look who's awake. Hey. <laughs> this is actual subway tile. Um, I was gonna go on State Street and like just get a few things, but with it being chillier and um, and then taking a little bit longer than I expected. Plus James like slept most of that time for nearing lunch. I'm just gonna go home. I'm probably gonna stop at Target along the way just for some like yogurt and like small groceries. But that was a success. I'm so happy to have those things off my to-do list. Friday for sure. Sarah got me a sugar-free Red Bull. I got the new Roy Choi Masterclass on. Oh, this is gonna be good. I love this guy. So we are home, obviously. Um, I think I'm gonna make like an easy stir fry for dinner, and I also got some egg rolls from Target. Um, I got some Valentine's M and M's and just some snacks before we go like full on grocery shopping again. Um, we are like in full Olympics mode, especially since we have access to it just like live on TV, which like we haven't had cable or anything of that sort since we've been married. Um, so it's just been on and <laughs> every idea of like, what should we do? Where should we go? Like we're like, um, we need to watch the Olympics also tip. If you are in Orlando, if you live there, if you're visiting there right now, um, at City Walk, at the, what, what is it called? The NBC Grill? I think that's what it's called. Um, they have huge screens and they play the Olympics while they're going on. Um, what is that grill called at City Walk? That plays the Olympics on the huge screen. That's what I thought. NBC Grill. Um, so you can just, even if you're not eating there, you can sit outside and watch. So basically, Universal is the best. Basically, I'm Universal born and raised. This is my favorite thing right now. James plays peekaboo. Ah, peekaboo! There you are. You can see his eyes. Wow. Between the bar and the table, so like you can see him the whole time in his eyes, like whoa, baby, oh, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. 
shaky, 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 shaky. Wow. Oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, what is this silly business? Good. Oh gosh. These are his like warm pants that he was wearing under his real pants. He's just in his underwear. Trudging through the snow, going to McDonald's to pick us up a com combination of dinner and snacks. I'm also going to have clear out some of the leftovers from the fridge as we get ready for the Olympic opening ceremony. It's snowing again, but ta da! Snow. Technically over there, that's called Winter Wonderland. It's just an ice rink at Wrigley. It's still kind of cool, but not as cool as Chris Kendall Market. I have watched some of the figure skating. Do you think Jonathan Van Ness is doing this too? 100% he is. <gasps> Let it be from the Across the Universe soundtrack? That is a great version of that Let it be. It is. What's fun about figure skating is actually my family, uh, growing up, my family had a big interest in figure skating. My brother figure skated for a while, and we went to the Worlds in Albuquerque, I think in 99 or something. Um, so I actually, like, I've never been an athletic person, but, like, I can watch. I still, like, get the lingo and get the... And the, dad the, the ice rink. My dad did work at the ice rink when my brother was figure skating. Um, so, like, I still get the lingo and understand how these work. And somebody just fell. But... <laughs> the opening ceremony starts soon. Eve, are you ready for the opening ceremony? What country do you represent? You don't, you, you know, you can think about it. You can take your time. James doesn't realize what is about to get shown, so he's going to play with his aliens. Heyo! Here we go. Time to start the opening ceremony. All right, in the Parade of Athletes has begun. Greece representing, trying to win their first medal. That's cool. Are you going to win an Olympic medal someday? It's still Yeah? Look, you could do anything. These two fell asleep. And the athletes are still walking. Here we go with America. 224 athletes. Did you change? What did you just look at me and burst out and... I said, pizza. <laughs> like, I, I put James in his room because I put him to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe he put me to sleep. <laughs> and I went to go oh, drop him, so hopefully he stays asleep. But I come out from putting him down and Sarah just looks at me and bursts out, pizza. <laughs> like, we live in such a great place to have pizza. And I just, like, I'm talking with Megan and Katie about, you know... That thing I'm doing. <gasps> you are? Yeah. <laughs> I'm really glad she's going. I'm really glad she's going. But I want us to come with. I want you to come with too. It's gonna be so fun for you. No. Plus it's gonna be fun for me and James. We're gonna have we're gonna build up tents, we're gonna have so oh, much I fun. Think. James is gonna say I never want you to come back. Not everybody has access to good pizza at all times. Yeah, so we should order some. I don't know, this whole, like, us getting up early, like, I'm ready for bed in the next, like, hour or so. Yeah, I'm, like, ready for bed, and, like, the whole point, like, you and James, like, aren't coming to Florida with me is so that we, like, are mindful about our money, and, like, when we order food, it's expensive. Yeah, plus, like, if you're gonna order food, you might as well get kickers. Poppers, <laughs> mozzarella sticks. Garlic bread. Garlic bread. And pasta salad. If you're really feeling it, um, that f those fried things that swim. Fried calamari. I've never eaten calamari in my own home. What? I, I did it. Hi. 
Weren't you just still in my sleep? We got a tavern style pizza, which actually is like more common on the south side. Cut into squares. We got a small, this is a small pizza. <laughs> no, it's a medium. But it's small for us. Small for us because we don't want leftovers. And look at these little babies. Hmm. They're little potato skins. Bombs, it looks like. Potato skin bombs. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.